Hello everyone. If you are working with numerical data in Excel, such as financial data or scientific data, where you need to work with both text and numbers, then you know how important it is to separate text and numbers from Excel cell. Here, you can easily do this in Excel within a second. So, this is Chihad Rianjim from Excel Demi, and today we'll learn several methods on how to separate text and number in Excel. Before going into the methods, let's talk about the data set a bit. Here we have list of combined data of students that consist of both numbers and text in column B. But in this case, we want to separate numbers and text in column C and D. So without any further discussion, let's get started. In our first method, we want to use text to column feature in Excel to solve our problem. To do that, at first, we'll select the B column and go to the data tab and select text to columns in data tools. Here, we'll get convert text to columns dialog box. We'll select delimited and go to the next step by selecting next. In the next section, we'll have our delimiters. We can easily select any of the delimiters as our requirement. As we have separated the combined data with the comma in this section, so we'll use comma as our delimiters. Now, we'll go to the next section by using next. In this section, we'll select general in the column data format after that, in the data preview, you can easily see whether you have separated the view or not. Now, you can easily go for the destination where you want your result. You have to select the C5 value here and click finish to get your perfect result. Before that, you'll get a confirmation. If you click OK, then you'll get your result. So, that's how you can easily use text to column feature to separate text and number in Excel. We can also use flash fill feature to separate number and text. To do that, at first we'll go to the C5 cell and insert the name of the student, which is in this case Steve Morris. Now, if you go to the C6 cell and write down the second name, then you'll see Excel is already suggesting that if you click the enter button, then you'll get your perfect result of the student name. You can do the same for the student ID 101 and go for second cell and you'll get your perfect result. Alternatively, you can do the same thing by another process. Let's proceed with the alternative method. In case of flash fill feature, you can easily go for the C5 cell and write down the name. Now go to the data tab and in the data tools, select the flash fill feature. If you select the flash fill feature, then Excel will automatically fulfill your name of the students. You can also use another way of flash fill feature to separate numbers, right? 101 in our D5 cell and write down the second number also and after that you can easily select both of them and drag down to the very last cell. At the right corner you will have autofill options where you can easily select flash fill. So that's how you can easily use flash fill feature to separate numbers and text in Excel. We can also use the combination of mean find functions to separate number and text in Excel. We'll go to the C5 cell and insert the left function to extract the leftmost value of the selected value. We'll select B5 as our text and after that we'll go for the mean function to get the minimum value of the text. So we'll select find function to find the values only. So we'll write down the numbers 0 to 9 in the curly bracket. After that, we'll go for the within text as our B5 and we'll concatenate with the numbers to use the ampersand operator and write down the numbers within the text. As we're trying to get only the numbers, so we'll select the whole value and now subtract the numbers we have found in this section. Click the enter button. So we'll get our perfect name of the student in the cell. Drag down the formula to use it to every cell and get the result for the C column. Now, we'll go for the D5 cell and insert the 
write function to get the rightmost value of the selected text. In this case, we'll select again the B5 as our text and to get the length of the text, we'll write down the length function on select the B5 as our text. After that, we'll again subtract the value of the minimum text, which is in this case the mean text and find the numbers again. And in this case, we'll go for it and again write down the numbers in our curly bracket. Now, we'll go for the within text, which is in the case B5 cell. And again, we'll use ampersand operator to concatenate the values within it. So write down again the values of 0 to 9 in this text. And after that, we'll go for the numbers only. So we'll add the plus sign and add plus 1 to get the decimal values. After that, we'll hit the enter button to get the student ID in the D5 cell. Drag down the formula to use it to every cell. So that's how we can easily use the combination of mean, find, left and right functions to separate number and text in Excel. Suppose we want to add an extension to these methods. Here, we want to find the starting of number in the text also. So we'll go to the D5 cell and insert the mean function to get the minimum length of the value. And then we will try to find the number. So write down the find function and write down the numbers in the curly bracket. So we'll write down 0 to 9 in our section. Now we'll select B5 as our within text and again use the ampersand operator and concatenate the values within it. So write down 0 to 9 in our double quotation. If you click the enter button, then you will get your perfect starting point. If you look down to the B5 cell, then you will see in the 13th position, the number has started. So it is showing the 13 in the E5 cell. Drag down the formula to get the result for every cell. So that's starting number position for you. Now we'll combine right, left and search functions to separate number and text in Excel. To do that, we'll go to the C5 cell and insert the left function. To extract the left side of the value of the selected text, we'll select B5 as our text and we'll trying to search the numbers. So we'll write down the search function. After that, we want to separate the values with the delimiter. So in the delimiter section, we'll write down double quotation, comma as our delimiter and again double quotation. After that, we'll go for the selected text, which is in this case the B5 cell. We are trying to subtract the value, so we'll subtract minus 1 with it and hit the enter button. Drag down the formula to use it to every cell. Now, we'll go for the D5 cell and insert the right function to extract the rightmost value of the selected text. We'll select B5 as our text and after that, we'll select the length of the value. So, select the length function and now we'll again go for the text of the B5. After that, we'll subtract the value by using the search function. So write down the search function again and we'll write down the delimiter as comma and again go for the within text which is in this case B5. If we click on the enter button, then we'll get our numbers only in the D5 cell. Now copy down the formula to use it to every cell. So that's your combining of right, left and search functions. Now, we'll insert VBA code to separate number and text in Excel. To do that, we'll go to the Developer tab and select Visual Basic to open the Visual Basic Editor. Now, we'll go for the Insert and Insert New Module to open the New Module text. As we have already copied our code in the Notepad, so we'll select it by using Ctrl plus C and paste it in the Visual Basic Editor by using Ctrl plus V in the keyboard. You can easily get the code in our article link below. Now let's talk about the code a bit. At first we have used VBA function called Sleet Text which takes two argument P work range as a range object and PLS number as a boolean value. The purpose of this function is to split the text in a specified range into a new string based on whether they are numeric or not. Next, we have declared two variables xlen and xtr. xlen is used to store the length 
of the text in the range while xtr is used to store each individual character in the text. After that, the loops go through each of the cell by using this true argument. Next, we have gone for the for loop. The for loop is used to go through each character in the text by using the start of one and index section of the text. For each character, the function checks whether it is numerical or non-numeric using the isNumeric function and compares the result to the PLS number argument passed through the function. If the character is numerical and PLS is true or the character is numeric, then it is shows false. After that, we have gone for the concatenate operation ampersand. So finally, the function returns the new string split text containing only the values of the argument specified by the PLS number argument. We'll end our function by using the endf and the end function. Now we can easily save the whole VBA code by using the save or control plus s in the keyboard. Now let's return to the worksheet. In the worksheet, we'll go to the C5 cell and insert the split text. So we'll write down the split text Excel is already suggesting us. Now we'll select the text as B5. Now as we're trying to get only the text, so write down false. So write down false and click the enter button to get the perfect name in the C column. Drag down the formula to use it to every cell. Now in the D5 cell, we'll insert the same function which is split text. Now we'll select the value as B5. But now we'll write down true as we are trying to get the numbers in this case. Now if we click the enter button, we'll get our perfect number in the D5 cell. Drag down the formula to use it to every cell. So that's inserting BV code for you. So that's it for today. You can use any of these methods accordingly. Or you can download the practice workbook from the link below. Hope this will help you. If you have any questions, suggestions or feedback, please let us know in the comment section. Or you can have a glance at excelim.com. Thanks for watching us. If you like this video, please consider subscribing for more content like this.